Hi, I'm Angelica. We're students at CCV. Um, here is. My name is Emily, and I'm studying Allied Health Sciences at CCV. I'm Myra, and I am studying also Allied Health Sciences at CCV. I'm Fatuma, and I'm studying business. We all did our research on recycling. Um, does anyone want to talk about the importance of recycling? Do you guys want to uh, tell us the impor how important recycling is in Vermont? Yeah, so a lot of it is um, when recycling is put into our landfill and um, put into the dumps and all that. A lot of greenhouse gases, harmful chemicals are released, which is polluting our air. So by recycling, it's actually reducing pollution. Um, it's also important because uh, there's a lot of deforestation that's happening. And a lot of habitats are being destroyed due to the fact that we are creating so much from raw materials when we actually don't need to be using raw materials. We can use post-consumer materials instead, um, and then it's just better for the environment, so, yeah. So uh, then, kind of like going off of that, like, talking about like what we can and can't do that will, things that will, will and won't harm the environment, do you have like a list of things that are good for the environment that we should keep doing, or lists of things that we shouldn't do that will harm the environment? Well, it's just basically, I feel like, the recycling do's and don'ts, so by putting, um, you know, all this bad stuff into our rubbish. You just need to rinse out your containers. You need to break down your boxes. Um, use post-consumer. Those are the only three do's that are ever that I see listed on sites. So, and those are very simple. Very simple. I feel like. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's many other reasons why deforestation. You know, we love our habitats. Extinction is a big problem right now. Um, I think it was I saw the other day. Sixty percent of species are actually. Uh, deteriorating and they're gone now and, and extinct because of the fact that we just keep destroying their environments to create stuff for us that we really don't need. So, you know, um, we've gone through hundreds of millions of tons worth of recycling and sold it to China actually um, and that has now stopped and I know you have a little bit in, of insight on this too. Yeah, um, but not in Vermont. It's no. in um, California. <laughs> um, the company Replanet it owns 280 um, recycling centers, and they've shut them all down. And then there's um, other recycling centers that have been shut down in California um, due to the fact that China stopped buying and reselling their products. Um, and also the mislabeling that's been going on over there. So I believe there was like chemicals too that were being. Yeah, it's um, PET. It's in the bottles that were being deposited, and um, they stopped that as well. Because yeah. Also, 750 people lost their jobs because they shut down all those centers. And yeah, that's a good one. Um, the universal recycling law, I believe, not many people know about too. Um, and it's it happened in 2012. It banned three major materials from our bins, um, which is also helping reduce pollution. And that would be um, leaf and yard debris. It would be food scraps and all recyclable materials. So. Um, I feel like we're doing the necessary steps in order to help our environment, um, but there's still so much more that can be done. Yeah, I kind of agree. I mean, when we did our project about recycling, when we were able to go out on the streets of Winooski and ask people what they do to help benefit the environment, I feel like mm -hmm. we got a lot of really nice <coughs> answers about um, what people try to do, which I personally thought um, not a lot of people would um, be interested in recycling or have like super cool facts about it but a lot of people say they try to compost they always try to recycle so I just thought me personally that was kind of interesting that we were able to go and do that yeah um, and when we recycle and we use those uh, post-consumer use 
materials, it actually uses less energy. So we're conserving energy by recycling and using post-consumer used materials. So that's a cool little fact that I learned. Also, um, the United States Environmental Protection Agency has like record of all of um, the amount of comp compostables and recycling things that have been recycled and they weighed them and it's all online for us to see but it's not where we want it to be and it could be better um, if more if more people were investing I mean just in Vermont there's 20 different businesses for like recycling and and um, composting but it's not it's not like enough I mean it could be there could be more but so what yeah. happens when you mislabel recycle like recycling bins and trash like then people throw away recycled material that could be reused and then they recycle trash um, that could be used for composting and it makes it makes the process longer for the biodegradables to um, break down and just makes it a longer process than it should be. So. so the government also helps to protect the environment. Um, in Vermont, uh, we have the Department of Environmental Conservation and their mission is to clean and clear all the potential environmental discrepancies that occur in the state. Um, so can I ask, in case it was needed, um, how do you report uh, an environmental violation specifically in Vermont? So if you go to their um, uh, page online, um, there are actually two ways to do it. And one, it's by submitting a complaint uh, online. You just go to the, the link that they have there and you fill out all like a form where you report uh, the discrepancy or the violation that you see or that you are actually like doing. Like, or you can also call them um, to their office and during regular business hours. When a spill occurs, you have to um, uh, report them immediately. It's kind of like an emergency and there is a line that is open 24 hours for anyone that can, that, can, that needs to report a spill or anything like that. Well, that's beneficial for everyone to know. Yes. Um, about your project, so. Yeah, I mean, we can kind of switch gears because um, my project is definitely a little bit different than theirs because it has to do more about the environment. The project I decided to do um, was on special education, which is very different from what they've all researched. But I don't know. I just thought it was something that I was really interested in and decided to research. So. Um, question then, how much is spent on special education in Vermont each year? So in Vermont, um, per student, there's, right now they're spending um, $21,000, where on average um, the cost per student is 15000 so that is a little bit way over um, what they should be spending. So that just kind of raises the question on whether or not they're spending too much or too little on special education, because again, it varies um, school to school and community to community. So it's just based on students' needs. Um, so um, there's this formula on the um, Vermont Agency of Education, which I kind of thought was really interesting. Um, so it's this formula where you can go and input all um, your like community and your, or your school's um, information, and that allows you to kind of get a range for the budget that you should be spending where you don't have to um, take away money from other um, clubs or activities or sports and you don't have to like be putting more of that money into that. So I just thought it was kind of interesting just because you never really know how much you should be spending on some special education and it's hard because um, 
there are students that really need some of the, um, the um, what's the word? I don't know what the word is. Resources? Yeah, some of the resources that um, they've been given. So it's just something to think about, um, I think, to really see um, where the money should be um, putting into. So. Well, I think that will be it for today. I thank you for watching us from CCB Student. Goodbye. Do you consider yourself environmentally conscious? For the most part, I think I do, yeah. In what ways do you contribute to helping the environment? Um, I recycle, I compost, um, I ride my bike to work at least once a week, twice a week, when I can. <laughs> Would you buy something that used recycled materials? Yeah, I think depending on the quality of it, for sure. Do you consider yourself environmentally conscious? Yes. Do you believe population has an effect on recycling? It has an effect on the environment. I don't know if it has an effect on recycling. Like Do you consider yourself environmentally conscious? Yes. In what ways do you contribute to helping the environment? Um, I literally will go through trash and sort trash from recycling. Um, I don't compost, she gives me a hard time. <laughs> do you consider yourself environmentally conscious? Um, yes and, and no. Like I try, but I'm lazy. In what ways do you contribute to the environment? Well, I recycle. I don't buy from places that I don't that I know are bad for the environment and also I'm vegan. Would you buy something that used recycled materials? I try to buy things that I recycle use recycled materials. Why do you think that's important? Less waste in the in the world is better and if you have more stuff that's made out of recycled materials, it's more accessible to people who um, to buy and if you s have a more of a demand for it um, they'll just produce more and at some point if things go well everything will just be recycled. Do you believe that population has an effect on how much people recycle? It definitely does. Um, population has an effect on the environment itself as well. Um, there have been proven things where um, because of the population the environment has gone south and so if people, more people recycle, that will be better for the environment. But the more people there are, the less people there are going to be. Like, the more people there are, the people who don't recycle are going to grow as well as the people who do recycle. Do you feel that recycling has become more of a chore rather than doing it because it's good for the environment? Um, no. I just forget what's recyclable and what's not. So I tend to accidentally throw away something that's recyclable, but if I remember it, I'll put it in the recycling bin. Thank you. <laughs>